These types of problems are simply division problems. You're going to divide the amount of stuff, in this case ounces, into the price. Do 85 divided by 8. And put the decimal point up at the top, 1. Uh, and that comes out to be 8 here. 0, bring down the 5. How many 8s are in 5? 0. Let's put on another 0 and bring that down. How many 8s are in 50? Uh, let's see, 8 times 7 is 56, so 8 times 6. So this is 10 cents with a little bit extra after the 10 cents. It's a little bit more than 10 cents. Uh, you might have to do that in order to, to settle a tie if there's another one that's 10 cents also. One pound for $1.65, again, it's a division problem. And there's 16 ounces in a pound. We did 8 ounces before, but now we're looking at 16 ounces. Uh, decimal point up at the top, 16 times 1 is 16. And then how many in 5? That's 0. And so we're going to create another. How many 16s are in 50? That would be 3. And so this is 10 cents also. The little extra here is 3, and the little extra there is 6. So, so far between these two, this one's the better deal because it's less than that one. See, that 3 is less than that 6. How about the last one? 3 pounds for $3.25. I'm going to do it over here. 2 pounds, excuse me. So that's 32 ounces for $3.25 because 2 pounds is 32 ounces, 16 plus 16. And you can do that right up here. 16 plus 16 equals 32. Okay, and then we're going to do 32 goes into 32 one time. That's 32. Bring down the 5. How many times is 32 going to 5? 0. Let's bring down to 0 again. How many times is 32 going to 50? One time. So you can see that this one here is the best deal. They're all 10 cents, but this one has only a 1 in that thousandths place. This one has a 3 in the thousandths place, and that has a 6. So the best deal per ounce is that one, the lowest cost per ounce.